Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pokemon Casino. We got another opening today, but it's not of Pokemon K sets. It is of our first PSA grades ever. I got my two buddies with me today because we sent these cards off together. We sent off, I think, almost 100 cards. First time to ever get cards graded. And then we got them back finally. We did different service levels. We got economy, we got bulk, we got value. So let's start with the bulk package and see what we got. So this one basically cost around, I think it was $19 or $20 per card. And it had to have a maximum value of 199 US dollars. So I'm still waiting for another return of that deal to come so we can send him off more cards. But here we go. PSA, the first batch, super excited. What do we got here? So let's take them all out first and go through all these one by one and see what they are. It's a mix of, I think it's a lot of modern cards that we got out here. This is exciting. So this is obviously English and Japanese ones that we have going on here. But for the first card, let's see what it is. PSA 10 Glaceon. This is one of the nicest cards, I think, because I love Glaceon. One of my favorite evolutions, if not the favorite evolution. What a way to start, guys. What a way to start. And let's keep going and see what we are gonna get here. Charizard Full Art. We got another 10 here. Really nice. This is the Japanese one from Starbirth S9. Whew. This is some fire, hopefully it continues. Oh, we got the promo, Red and Pika. Another 10 over here, <laughs> super nice. Oh my goodness, let's keep those 10s coming. We got Vaporeon, oh yeah. We got Vaporeon in a 10, one of the OG. Evolutions, and let's keep going on. Ooh, we got birthday Pikachu at a six. Don't know what's wrong with this one. The centering looks great out here. Looks fine on the back as well, to be frank. I think, nope, that's just a blemish on the case. Maybe this one will deserve a cracking to uh, basically regrade. Don't know what happened. Like, I don't see anything wrong with this one, to be frank. Why is it a six? Why is it a six? Okay, so that was a weird one. But you know what, this is my first experience in this. Ooh, this one I think is a first edition, but it is pretty scratched up, I know, uh, as part of the first editions. I think there, there's a swirl right here, though. So that basically adds two points to any PSA grade, right? <laughs> so. That's fine. I think these ones were all like the vintage ones. Didn't expect. Oh, this one is a nice one. though. This has got a nine and you got the swirl over there. So this is really good. And you see all this area, this hollow area, right? So even though it's not a nine, uh, that, uh, not a 10, that's fine. Cause you can see like there's a white dot over there. So very hard for that one to get, I think, uh, a, a 10. But, oh, we got another one. We got swirl at the top right. You can see that. Is that a little swirl above the head, maybe? Maybe. Just hit him behind his head. Nine? Not bad. Uh, let's keep going. Ooh, Arceus V Star. Another 10 from Brilliant Stars. This one, I think I, I pulled two from this case. Uh, this being one of them, and I sold another one. And of course, I kept the 10 to myself, luckily. And then, ooh, one of my really favorite cards. Uh, it is just a six. I think I didn't expect much from this one, but I thought it was just really cool with the spotlight. Uh, so six, I'll think I'll have to take it. Uh, centering's not great. You see white dots on the back as well. All right, so this is giving me actually a lot of education and knowledge for future grading on what I can expect. Oh, we got Arceus the promo. Only an eight on this one. Uh, hey, we had to take some, take some L sometimes. Uh, this was, this came with the game Arceus. I think that's fine though, because 
just having it encapsulated is a nice memory of having the game and how it was uh, pretty revolutionary at the time. Oh, we got my, one of my favorite Pichus, uh, Mischievous Pichu at the 10. Nice. Uh, I got the t-shirt as well. Oh, we got the Shining Legends, Shiny Rayquaza at a nine, Japanese one. Uh, don't mind this at all, love Rayquaza, one of my favorite Pokemon. And he's a shiny, right? So can't complain on that one. I think I'm pretty happy with the nine on there. I didn't think it'd be a 10 when I got it. Oh, we got the EV VMAX from Shining Fates. I honestly wasn't sure if this one would get a 10 when I submitted it. Uh, Cause there's a, the centering on the front was actually a little bit off, but I guess it's good enough within that 65, 35 range. Uh, really nice one. That's really good. I'm really happy about that one. Articuno uh, from Fossil First Edition. Uh, this one had a bunch of scratches I remember on the surface, but it's at eight and I'm happy with that being Arty. I'm actually wearing an Articuno shirt right now that you can't see, uh, but really happy with that one actually. Not too bad. Happy with the eight over there. I'll take it. Uh, and then, ooh, so we got a 10 on this first half clash at the Summit Hollow, first edition Japanese Rayquaza. And if I know correctly, the next one should be the bottom half. Is it a 10? Oh, it's a nine. Ah. Oh. So not sequential, we got a nine on this card, uh, but there you go, this is a really cool card, I thought. It's a bit weird to sort of exhibit though, to be frank, um, but hey, I'll have to take it, I guess. Uh, still, still really like it. At least the Rayquaza, which is my favorite one on the top side, got a 10. So, all right, uh, not bad, not bad. What else do we have? This is probably a nine, shiny Charizard. Uh, I saw a dot on the back and centering wasn't great over on the front. So this is a nine, but this is a nice encapsulation of uh, Special Delivery Charizard. I know this card is probably getting graded to oblivion right now. I don't, I'll show the pop report what it is on screen right now. Uh, but this has been transacting really f uh, well. I think it's a very liquid card, uh, but obviously you can see in the front and back. So nine is not bad for this one. I think nine is a, is a, is a pretty good result. Ooh, we got another 10. On the uh, Vaporeon V from EV Heroes, one of the alt arts, really pretty, really pretty card. We had uh, a few of those ones, and we got more coming as well. I know. And then another ten, another ten on EV Heroes for Vaporeon, and that is our first box, our first stack from PSA for the bulk. We got another box going, so let's get into that. All right, everyone, this is the second stack, a bit shorter than the first, uh, just because it didn't fill the box. And then we got, ooh, we got Lost Abyss, the Aerodactyl View, V, I mean, not View, the Alt Art, the Dinos, this is my buddies. As you can see, oh, that's really good. I'm really happy that we, he got a 10 on that one. And then, oh, we got Mewtwo at a nine. Uh, this one is, one card that I thought has been undervalued, to be frank, and I've been seeing it climb slowly. I'm not trying to hype it up, but Mewtwo V All Arts. Uh, why is it not in demand? Mewtwo is such a like a strong character. Ooh, we got Leafeon V EV Heroes at a ten. Beauty looking one, Leafeon just in the foliage in autumn, which is I guess still now. And then, oh, we got. Nintendo error at a nine. Uh, this is the one where it was actually uh, had the error on the bottom. Let me see if I can do it. There you see on the bottom, Nintendo. Nintendo. Uh, so that's that one. Uh, nine, hey, not bad. This is the Japanese version or Japanese promo for the movie card. What else do we got down here? Oh yes, we got Dream League Pikachu. PSA 10. This is a super cute card. I think this one is from like a, the Cosmic Eclipse version of it. Or, and really happy I got that. This is one of my favorite ones. Just wanted it encapsulated. Not worth that much, but you know, I just like it. So I'm glad that it is in a 10 case. We got Rotom Lost Abyss at a 10 as well. 
So this is the nice one. This is my buddies as well. Really happy about that. What else do we got coming? Pre-order Arceus at an eight. I think the other one was at a what? A, uh, an eight as well or nine. Nine, my buddy says behind me. He doesn't want to talk for some reason. Uh, but yeah, so the more you submit, I guess, maybe the more chances you have. But this card is actually really cheap to buy. I think it was something like just a, a couple of dollars US uh, in order to get uh, this one. So if we really wanted to, it's, uh, it's an easy submission or easy to just purchase. Next one, Glaceon. Glaceon V EV Heroes at a 10. Really good. I think we already had one of these ones, right? So really happy about that one. What else do we got? We got Special Delivery Charizard at a nine over here. Really nice one. Again, this one definitely looks better than the eight uh, in terms of the centering on the front. Uh, don't know what's taking away from it to get a 10. Maybe just uh, some white dots on the bottom probably um, that's causing it. But what do you think? What do you think is the reason for that? Um, do you think that it deserves a 10 still, even just a couple of white dots? Um, it's always interesting to hear what other people's opinions or thoughts are on a PSA grading process. We got a 10 on the Mewtwo V. We got it. This one looks like it's a beauty. Uh, the other one wasn't a 10, but we got one finally. And then uh, I guess the other one my friend can uh, get rid of or something. More 10s on the Vaporeon. This is this is one if you if you saw my video on EV Heroes, what you should grade or not. Vaporeon was the one that gave you a basic 100% return comparing the raw grade to a PSA 10, which is why you can see so many Vaporeons here, uh, helping me to fund my addiction. Oh yes, Espeon at a PSA 10 as well. Really happy about these ones. All these EV Hero ones are so nice. All these alt arts. Just simple beauties. Uh, and we got two more as part of this pack until we go into the higher grade cards. And it is Mewtwo Hyper Rare, the rainbow. This is from Pokemon Go earlier this year at a PSA 10. This one just looks good uh, because it is Mewtwo. And then I think the last one is a Mewtwo as well, is it? No, it's a Pikachu. It is Pikachu, VMAX, Mr. Gold over here. Really, really nice gold chonky chew. That's a really nice one. Okay, so that's basically this pile. And let's go on to the higher class or higher grading. And then we got our value packs here. So these cards are valued at up to $499. I think each one costs about $20, $30. I'll show it up on screen on how much it costs to grade. But here we go, the first one. There should be a bunch of first editions for my friend. And this one is already scuffed. Good job, PSA. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me try to uh, fix the focus on it. Yeah. It's like scuffed there. Thank you, PSA. And then what is it? Oh, it's a Thai version of VMAX Climax Flareon. So this is definitely my buddies because he's the only one that has the, the Thai version of the cards here. So one of the OGs from VMAX Climax, one of the probably best sets from last year. We should have more. We got Charmander first edition, which is my buddies as well. So this comes out of PSA 8. He stored these for 20 plus years in his binder with cards overlapping each other. Uh, yep. So he's, he's learned from there, guys. He's learned from there. But it's still got an eight, very nice. We're looking for tens though. Uh, I don't know if there's gonna be available or nines. Let's, next one, Bulbasaur, also at an eight. Uh, we sent off, I think like 15 or 20 of these uh, first edition starters. So these are non hollows. We got a nine, Charmander nine, first edition. Really nice looking one, that's great. So being stored, 20 years and still looking great, so kudos. Whew. Pikachu, Red Cheeks, PSA 9. Victory! That is great. I'll show the value of what this is uh, on a card. This is a printing error, the Pikachu Red Cheeks over here. What a great looking card. Congratulations, bud. Uh, 
that that is a fantastic looking one. Oh, we got a Charizard V Max from Shiny Star V. Uh, this is a PSA 10. It's one of my favorite cards actually because it's a V Max. It's Charizard, and he's a shiny black guy. Um, so really nice. Just look at that hollow pattern and how it shimmers. Really great one. But these are really mixed up in terms of order. I did not submit them like this. Uh, and you can see like all the numbers aren't even in sequential order. So uh, I guess the, they just grade them in sequential and then just package them randomly. Next we got, oh, Rayquaza Chinese Shiny from Dreams Come True Collection Set B. Uh, this is only a PSA 9. That means I have to buy a PSA 10 to join my English version of this card. Uh, so to get a PSA 10, because I love that one. That was my first graded card. Yes! We got the Cramorant PSA 10 from the Japanese stamp box. This was a great box and great set from Japan Post last year. Really love this artwork. This looks so nice. And is it the Pikachu after this one? Or is it not in sequential order? So probably not. We got another special Charizard V. Uh, not what I'm talking about. It is a special delivery Charizard at PSA 9. And you got this one. Really nice looking Charizard. Oh, this is a really beaten up card. You can tell. It's probably one of the first editions. What is it going to be? Oh no, it's mine. It's, it's my shadowless one. Uh, Charizard Hollow. Only a five, sad, poor little guy. Uh, I got I got the nine as well, but this one I bought raw. Didn't expect it to be a five. I was hoping for a six or seven. Uh, so definitely underwhelming. But after looking at that edging, <laughs> I can see why. <laughs> Can't complain. Oh, we got another 10 on my shiny star Vs from Charizard V Max. Beauty looking one. Uh, these ones I bought directly from Japan. Uh, and they've turned out pretty well so far, but I don't want to jinx myself. Uh, hopefully we can continue on that streak. We got, oh yes, another shiny Ray Ray at PSA 10. Uh, this was a promo, really sweet looking one. Look at that hollow pattern as well on here. Uh, it's like dragon scales basically. Really nice looking PSA 10 for the victory. Thank you on that one. What is this one? Yes, first place. Gym Challenge Gold at PSA 10. Uh, this is a promo card. PSA 10 is all that I want for this one. And I'm happy that it was the first place, the gold medal basically, that got the 10. There's obviously the silver and the bronze as well. Let's see if it's here. Not here yet. But we got the Eevee, Lucian, Leafeon, Evolving Skies at a PSA 10. Really nice, especially because it's an English card. And you know how English card quality is and what my thoughts are on that. Glaceon VMAX, Evolving Skies, PSA 10. This is probably my favorite card from that set. Not, not the Moonbrain or anything, because it has the little Pokemon ice skating. Oh my God, what a great looking one. What a great looking Glaceon VMAX. That is, that, is just, that is just a great looking card. That looks even better in a PSA 10 slab. We got another, not a shadowless one, just the regular Charizard at a six. We'll take it. Uh, just sent this in for fun. Just because it's like the OG, the base set Charizard. Oh, we got the silver one at PSA 9. But you know what? I'm happy with the gold at 10. So I think that's the one that matters the most to me. Uh, so nine. Okay. You take some, you win some, you, you lose some. I guess we took a bit of an L there. There's a big dot on this one. So let's see what it is. Oh, wow. We got Bronzo on this one. Uh, bronze out of PSA 10. Okay. Uh, let's just put this one aside and not talk about it and continue on. Pikachu, Yellow Cheeks, first edition at PSA 9. Nice for a, such an old vintage card. And nine is a really good outcome, I think. Oh, yeah, we got Pikachu, uh, M M Pichu, mischievous Pichu, the promo, PSA 10, great looking card, love it, so mischievous, so cute. Oh, and then we got the uh, Mimikyu VMAX, 
PSA 10. Really nice one. And that's Arcerella just sleeping on her little Mimikyu. Or not little in this case, but big one. Let's go on to the next cards. Okay, second box for the value set. And you can see it's a pretty big stack. Let's continue going on. What do we got? Ooh, we got the other Thai card. The other Thai Evolution. At a nine for Jolteon. Not bad. From VMAX Climax as well. We got Snorlax. Chilling Rain. PSA 10. This card was basically what my friends and I, how we started collecting Pokemon cards <laughs> a year ago in Chilling Rain. He pulled this from his like first box ever uh, and couldn't be happy for him. This is such a good card. What a 10, what a, what a great card to encapsulate the memory of this for. Congrats, Daryl. Oh my God, what a great one. And then Dragonite V from Blue Sky Stream, PSA 10. I remember when we bought this from Japan, we were like, oh my god, we hope this one's a great one. And it is! What a great looking card. Got this Japanese 20th anniversary first ed Charizard PSA 8. And you know what? From CP6, I'm not gonna complain. I, I really like this one. It's a Japanese. So really happy about the 8 here. Uh, not not bad, not bad. Pikachu V Max! This is the one I pulled on one of my videos. Chonky Chube, this is one of my favorite pulls ever. Are you kidding me? And I got a PSA 10. Oh my, that, that is, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy right now. And it's English. And it's the English version, not even the Japanese. I'm so happy about it. Like, it just, I'm so happy with this one. That, that is, that is a great one. I'm really happy with that one. Oh my God. I, I forget what I, like, we had submitted actually. So it's actually like, it just a couple of months ago. But like, I have such bad memory, but it just, Seeing all this is uh, such a rush. I think we're addicted to grading now. <laughs> They're gonna be doing more of this. Uh, not just opening packs with grading. And what else you got? Moltres, Galarian Moltres V. I pulled this myself as well. This is one of my favorite looking cards from Modern Set from last year that I opened. At a PSA 10, I knew when I pulled this one it looked great, but I didn't want to jinx it. And here, thank you, PSA, for confirming that for me. This is added to my collection for sure. What else? Glaceon at a nine. We got a couple of tens, so I can add some tens for my collection. Nine, see if I can find a happy home for you. But thank you, Glaceon. We got Mewtwo V, another 10. <clears throat> this is from Pokemon Go. What do I have to say? What a great looking card, especially in the PSA 10 shell. Boom! Blaziken VMAX! Chilling Rain Secret! Alt Art! This is my buddies as well. He got this one and Snorlax in the same booster box. Same booster box. And they both came back at 10. What a win! English version of Snorlax and Blaziken to have that memory of our. Pokemon card addiction to remember forever. Congrats, what a great one. What else we got? Oh, we got a Sylveon V, VMAX Climax. Great looking one, a PSA 10. These cards are just stunning. Uh, absolutely love these CSR cards. So nice, so beautiful. Charmander, another first edition at a PSA 9. Congrats, buddy, 20 years and you still get a nine. In the, in the conditions you store that in. Imagine if you had done it better. <laughs> Would it be a 10? Who knows? Uh, I don't think it's, it may probably more, not your packaging, but because of the uh, the centering. But nine, let's take it, right? It's a win, it's a win. Oh, we got the Pikachu V from the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection out of 10. This is my buddy's card. What a great looking one, especially for English. That is a big W for this promo card look from that set. Let's see what else we have coming up. Squirtle, we got a PSA 8, which is also, I think, pretty great for a 20-year-old card. First edition, really nice. Boom, we got a 10 at Shadowless. Shadowless, Squirtle, PSA 10. It's base set, but what a great, oh my God. 20-year-old card, guys. 20-year-old card, PSA 10, we'll take the dub. 
We got more. We got a first edition at a nine. We got, are you, let's continue, let's go. We want a 10, you see the attack is a 10. We want a PSA 10 as well. First edition, Squirtle, 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 Squirt. Got another eight for Charmander here. First ed. Oh man, he's having a stack of these great graded cards here. This is so good. This is basically his retirement fund, right? Got another eight for Charmander. Keep them coming, eight and above. We'll take them all for these fantastic looking first edition cards. These are base set, basically every childhood's memory. Nine, another nine for Squirtle here with his uh, bubble attack. Let's get more. Let's see what else is at the bottom. We got two remaining here from this set. Got Red Cheeks, Shadowless, and eight for this Pikachu base set. But remember Shadowless because there's no shadow on this side over there as I explained before. And the last one from Valley before we go to the other box is... Oh, we got a PSA 10. We got the Vaporeon out here in tie from VMAX Climax to round out the value set. And let's jump into economy. And here we go. This is the main event. Not that many, only five, but this is from economy worth up to $999. We only got five here, but let's look at what we're getting. It is Dragonite first edition. What is it? Near mint, it's a nine. Oh, it's an eight. It is an eight on this one. A little bit of an L to be frank. Uh, if it's not a, this is not a 10, I wanted a nine obviously, but this one obviously a big hollow pattern so can get scratched up over there. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll have to take the eight. Yeah, it is a bit of whitening as well all over the edges. So, all right, fair enough. I think that was a bit of a, a gamble as we do at the Pokemon Casino. And what else do we got? We got Glaceon VMAX Japanese from EV Heroes. This is, oh my God, I'm nervous. What is it gonna be? What do you think it's gonna be? Gem Mint 10! Gem Mint 10, guys. This is my favorite card. Uh, one of my favorite cards from EV Heroes by far. And I got it in a 10, super happy about that one. Bought this one from Japan directly. Yes, really happy about that one. Third card is Special Delivery Bidoof. And I'm purposely taking long because my buddy's breathing down my neck because he's so nervous on what it is. It is Mint 9. And you know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. Special delivery Badoof at a nine uh, for the, such a classic card. He has uh, the Charizard, special delivery Charizard, and I guess he just has to buy the special delivery uh, Pikachu now, just to have the, the set. Uh, but nine, really nice one. We'll take that one. What else do we have? Leafeon, Eevee Heroes, VMAX, Alt Art. What do you guys think it is? I only want it, I want to see a G, I want to see a G, I see a G, I see a 10! Over here, Leafeon VMAX EV Heroes at a PSA 10. So good, so good. Now I have both Glaceon and Leafeon. And of course we have the last one. And this is the Charizard, I'm guessing. From Ultra Shiny GX. The classic card that everyone knows from Hidden Face as well. What are you graded? We are at a mint nine. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. This was a great PSA reveal. Had so much fun doing this. We are definitely gonna be doing more. So remember to hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for more openings PSA submissions, PSA grading reveals. Hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this. I know I definitely had a lot of fun doing this with my friends. Uh, hopefully you guys can do it too with your friends too, if that's a thing that you guys are into. But until the next one, hope you guys have fantastic RNG 
I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.